Hi there, YouTube. Dominic, the CX guy. Dominic, the customer experience guy. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to do uh, something special. We're going to look at an app uh, or an integration or a workaround of how to activate the call us feature when you're using Zendesk messaging. So I know, I know what you're thinking. Like, what the f is that? Is it significant? Well, uh, if you've been if you've been coming here for the first time, or if you're coming here for the first time. And you'll know that, uh, yeah, I make these YouTube videos because I enjoy them. And I've been doing customer experience for the past 14 years. I've been a Zendesk consultant and partner for the past nine years. And uh, yeah, I like taking customer experience to new heights and one video at a time and, uh, one, and one day at a time, right? So each day is the mission to take customer experience a little bit further, right? So this apparently, again, um, apparently insignificant topic, uh, doesn't matter. I, I I still think it's valuable. I, I like making these videos, and I like um, not just that, but I uh, I like sharing the knowledge that I've gained throughout this uh, throughout this time, throughout these years. And I just want to keep it for myself. I want to share it, and I like making these videos. So if they help someone like you who are watching, thank you for watching. Uh, by the way, subscribe to this video to this YouTube channel. I, it would really help me a lot. And comment if you want to see some special content. I really appreciate it. So today's topic, as I said again, is going to be a how to use a call us feature uh, if you're using Zendesk messaging. So my favorite uh, customer service platform is Zendesk. I've been banging this drum for a while now, and I enjoy it. I like it. Uh, but there are some limitations to it. And this is one of those videos where, where I show you how to go about uh, have, finding a workaround for these things which are limited. So Zendesk has uh, this new widget now, which is uh, called Zendesk Messaging. And with the Zendesk Messaging, it's amazing. You can use, uh, you can create uh, chatbot flows. You can use the answer bot with it. You can uh, use the chat um, and you can browse the knowledge base in it. But what you can't do is you can't request a call. Now, this is the new widget, right? The older one, however, uh, the web widget classic, as it's called, you could do something extra with it. So you could uh, request a chat, you could browse the knowledge base, uh, you could submit a ticket via a form, and you can also call, request a call or click call us. This is through a voice over IP, right? So this is through a uh, call through the internet, essentially. It's totally, it's totally free for the customer. However, for you who are using Zendesk Talk or another service, it's not free. It's whatever the operator charges you. So yeah, let's uh, let's jump right into it. So this is the limitation, right? You can't with the Zendesk messaging. You don't have the call us feature. By looking at the at the documentation in the API and asking for people at Zendesk for the roadmap, they didn't. They weren't very specific to say uh, when this will be available. Like the call us feature, it will probably be there, but I'm not sure when. So. In the meantime, we created this workaround. And actually, uh, one of the my team members from Roca, uh, they have created this. So Ahmed, very talented uh, technical architect, uh, he's helped create this uh, this workaround, right? So uh, I am going to now share my screen. Yep, yep, and bam! All right, so. You can just uh, right now only see the uh, Zena support where I have some tickets. Um, this is not important. Where I want to go is to I want to go to a guide experience, right? So this is where we enable this uh, this call us feature, the call us button. So um, this is a guide, right? So you recognize this. This can be customized to whatever your branding is, and you can have your uh, your content, your FAQs, and all your um, everything that uh, is related to your product which I very much recommend that you do, that you keep. Uh, this is actually where you see the maturity of a product uh, or, or a company if they have uh, questions and answers for different uh, processes in their business. This is, uh, anyway, I've been banging this drum also <laughs> for a while. Anyways, so uh, as you're familiar with this, uh, this is the widget, right? So this is the messaging widget, like the new one. The, this is the future. Don't use the Zenus Classic if you if you can. Please use this one. This is the future. Zendesk can invest all their efforts into this, not into the Web Widget Classic. But until we have that functionality uh, available to call us directly through this widget, uh, we have created this workaround, which this button 
And what this does is this actually essentially calls a, uh, a web widget classic. So we make use of the Zenus functionality available, but yeah, with an older version of what this, uh, what this usually used to be. So this is the web widget classic that we initiate from this button. So the prerequisite is that to, you have to have two widgets, right? Or, or uh, what this means is like two brands enabled in your guide. Sorry, not in your guide, in your support or in your admin center. So in Zenith, you have to have two brands. One of these brands has to use the uh, the new web widget, the new widget, right? This uh, fancy um, new age one. And the secondary brand that uses the web widget classic. So this is how you make it work. Now, once you have those two things, uh, we need to go in and uh, install this button and uh, yeah the script to call this uh, the script to call the web widget classic to initiate a call now uh, i am going to demo what it does in just a quick second so if i click start call this is going to create a ticket in zendesk right so i am in my guide i'm a customer right now right so i click start call and what this does is in zendesk it will yeah this is calling and now i'm going to I hear the robot telling me, like, uh, anyway, this is pulling me through someone. So now I'm in Zenda support. And what is this supposed to do? Like, here it is. Uh, the, I'm an agent right now, right? I accept the call. Okay. So now I'm, oh, God, I'm hearing a microphony or what do you call it? Like, I hear myself. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, very annoying. Anyways, um, switching back to the end user experience. Close the call. Thanks, man. Okay, so this has created a ticket. You know the drill, right? This uh, right now is going to save me the trans the the audio transcript. All good, right? So standards and this functionality. So why does this matter, and why this uh, customer experience? What this does with your customer experience? Well, it does a few things. It uh, makes uh, makes your company makes your brand of um, available. Somebody can come in here and and interact with the bot with your chat bot or um, yeah with your knowledge base and search with your uh, answer bot gives them uh, article suggestions they read those articles maybe they don't uh, they don't find what they're looking for and then that moment you want them to be able to call you right to make yourself available to your customer also keep in mind that there are different age groups of people so you know better your demographics but so, uh, like um, uh, a different age group prefers for example phone and and that's just the, the way that you would need to make yourself available. That's all right. That's fine, right? Um, so uh, an older age group would want to just hear someone's voice and to be talked through on solving the request. So that's why this is very useful. And as a customer experience, it's very good to make yourself available. Obviously, it depends on resources. And it obviously depends on the type of touches you have. You have a low touch, high touch, or yeah, mid touch. But anyway... Make yourself available. If you can, be human. Uh, robots are good, but a human is better. So uh, I hope this uh, helps you. I hope this is, uh, yeah, can help your organization. Now, this takes about a day to implement, to make work. Um, if you really want it, uh, write to me, and I'm happy to give you the instructions on how to do it. If you don't have the time or the tech resources available, to do this, uh, yeah, someone in our team can do it. it takes a day of work. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. And bye.